What's going on everybody? The Tesla Model 3 $35,000 uh, model is finally out. It got released earlier today and there are six different versions, six different ways you can order your Tesla Model 3 today right now. And I'm going to go through all six in this video, make it as simple as possible, comparing all six. And uh, you guys have a better idea of which one you want to buy, which one's right for you, because it can be pretty confusing just looking at it on the website. So I try to simplify things as much as possible. So let's uh, let's go through this. The standard range is the $35,000 uh, model. And this is the one that everyone said, hey, when is it coming? When is it coming? Yes, it is finally here. Uh, it has a standard interior. And at the end of going through all six, I will show all the different interior options. And uh, yeah, so the standard range is $35,000. It has a standard interior. And these three numbers that you're going to see constantly throughout all six variants are uh, range, top end speed and zero to 60. So you'll see as we go through it, it's just a simple way for you to see which one that works for you. So 220 miles range, 130 uh, miles per hour, uh, top end speed and 5.6 seconds, zero to 60. If you compare that to the standard range plus, uh, there's a 20 mile uh, battery range difference and it can go 10 miles per hour faster at the top end and it is a faster zero to 60 at 5.3 seconds. So uh, just that alone, you can see, hey, this is $2,000, uh, obviously standard interior versus partial premium interior is a difference as well, which I said we will go through, but uh, a chart like this just makes it really easy for you to see the differences. Uh, after this, the next one up is the mid range. So you can see we started at 35,000, we jumped up 2000. Now we're jumping up 3000. What more does that give you? Well. Now you have full premium interior. It's not like a partial and your uh, range for your battery is 264 miles and 140 uh, miles per hour is your top end speed and your zero to 60 is 5.2 seconds. Uh, something also I want to note now before I forget, uh, all the prices are US. Uh, even though I'm in Canada, I thought it'd be easiest to just to show US pricing and then you can work it out based off wherever you live. It's still a good Good way to see the differences between all the different models uh, after the mid range is the long range so again you have premium interior so that doesn't change at all uh, the only difference between mid range and long range is the 325 miles versus the 264 miles and that's your battery and 840 miles of your top end speed and five seconds for your zero to 60. Uh, something interesting to note about the long range, it used to be 300 miles and a software update is increasing it to 325 miles. So someone like myself who has the long range is actually going to be uh, getting 25 miles more uh, when the new update comes. Uh, up next, dual motor long range. So once again, you can see it's $4,000 more than the long range and you can see the miles, uh, the top end speed and your zero to 60. Uh, interesting to note, it's actually 15 miles less, but your top end speed is slightly more and your zero to 60 is faster. And last but not least, we have the performance model, uh, which is the largest jump. So you can actually see the progression like 2000 more, 3000 more, 3000 more, 4000 more, and then 11,000 more. So this one includes obviously premium interior, uh, 310 miles. So the same as the dual motor long range but it has a 162 miles per hour uh, top end speed, which is crazy, and a 3.2 second, zero to 60. It also has exclusive upgrades that are specific to the performance model, and it's been out for so long, so I'm not even gonna go into too much detail about that. Uh, I wanna talk about the different interior uh, packages. So we have standard, partial, and premium. So standard is only the standard range. The only one that gets that is the $35,000 one. Uh, standard range plus is the only one with partial and then everything else is just premium interior so let's just look at that right now uh, all interior first off comes with a tinted glass roof and auto dimming power folding heated side mirrors music and media over bluetooth and custom driver profiles uh, that comes in every single variant that we just discussed uh, the first one that I want to talk about is the standard interior. So you get manual seat, seat and steering adjustments. So it's not automatic. You have to do it manually. Uh, the seats are made of cloth and there's basic audio, standard map navigation, and the center, center console has four USB ports, which is interesting because mine only has two. 
uh, I would love to have it have four, so I use the USB hub, but uh, nonetheless, let's continue about this interior uh, differences. The partial premium interior has a 12-way power adjustable heated front seats. So just something to note, the standard does not have uh, heated front seats. So uh, premium seat material and trim, upgraded audio, uh, standard maps and navigation, LED fog lamps, center console with uh, storage, four USB ports, and docking for two smartphones. So the standard one does not have the docks for the smartphones, no LED fog lamps and stuff like that. So that's your difference between standard interior and partial uh, premium interior. And then last but not least, you have the premium interior, which is uh, your 12-way adjustable front and rear heated seats, premium audio, uh, satellite maps with live traffic, internet car streaming, music and media, internet browser, uh, location aware, automatic gar garage door opener, which I find really handy, uh, LED fog lamps, center console with four uh, USB ports and docking for two smartphones. So right there, you can see all the differences between uh, standard, partial, premium, and then what you get in every single uh, interior. Hopefully this helps you guys. Make sure you guys are subscribed for more Tesla content. I got new stuff coming all the time and like the video, comment, and all that YouTube stuff. Most importantly, thanks for watching and I will see you guys.